Hi, I wanted to make a video about the new version of King of King of Avalon, version 11.3. But looking at the email and uh, looking at uh, if anything has changed, it's not really that interesting. So instead of uh, I will just pay a little bit attention to the to the update, and instead I'm going to look at the new events that were new. They are not really new events, but the uh, events that are coming again the legacy of virtue and the kingdom journey a lot of the new features are revolving around the uh, five-year anniversary it's not really clear yet what they will bring us so far you can claim some rewards every day and see how long you have been playing well for me that's a very long time since i've been uh, starting in uh, yeah, kingdom 41 in October 2016 of course it is longer than most because a lot of people started playing later for the rest it doesn't really look uh, yeah we, we just have to see how it uh, what it will bring for the rest photo booth I don't really like this kind of uh, event not going to look at that um, the others still have to open. This opens at July 20 and this at July 25. So we will still have to see. For dress, I didn't really see any other changes like changes in the shops or uh, rewards in this. Um, let me check one thing I didn't check yet. Oh, this still looks the, looks the same. Okay, uh, so let's look at those events. Specifically, I want to have a look at the legacy of virtue. But let, let's first have a, some uh, quick remarks about this kingdom tourney. We are never really active as um, in our alliance, and I haven't really bothered to try to work on this uh, boost, which is really helpful if you uh, if you as an alliance score more points than the previous round you will uh, receive an alliance point bonus well this alliance is not popular at all and becoming less and less popular so we are, have already been at zero for a while but you could uh, you could build it up actually if, if i really want i can probably build it up from now because we are so low on points and then you can increase this and it helps to get better point um yeah lead, no, not leaderboard reward point uh, rewards but i'm not yeah that interest uh, interest in it i mean it is nice currently i'm only going to be able to go until the 4200 if i want uh, in my old kingdom i could uh, get to the 6800 without any alliance uh, bonus for the others i think you really need the alliance uh, bonus factor but um, yeah, I mean, it's not that they're not nice. I mean, definitely uh, two intensity crystal five is nice, but yeah, you, or, or if your kingdom also ranks higher, that's even even nicer. Maybe this, yeah, this is also, it, it's all quite nice, but I, I specifically also like this uh, reward. And so far, I'm not paying too much attention when playing this uh, for the points. I have tried to get a couple of four star, but in our kingdom it's still very active, and probably in most merch kingdoms that is the the case. So I've sometimes really been clicking, clicking when a new quest uh, arrived, because then there are like ten seconds or something that you cannot claim it yet to claim it. But uh, always somebody else was earlier, so I have stopped bothering and just focus on the three star. And three star should give you enough to get to that uh, four thousand two hundred. If you do that uh, every day and yeah you can do plenty of things like gathering some resources even donating probably you have plenty of resources like i do if you have some farm accounts um, you can uh, um, donate to the alliance tag 20 times these kind of things I, I do a lot with resources and then i get but i do focus purely on the ones that have nice rewards i mean those level three intensity crystals in my eyes not so nice because you need so many to get the next um, dragon skill to six stars so that's not really worth it in my eyes but 
100,000 um, um, yeah, 100,000 statue material is for me still uh, quite okay. If I compare where the prestige banners maybe already have enough, you can also do those or exchange 20 times in the marketplace. There are actually quite some that are quite easy to do. Um, yeah, my statues are not that impressive yet. So if I, for example, look at uh, the flawless Genesis, and I want to upgrade these by doing the kingdom tourney. It's not, uh, well, it's also not that spectacular, but I think you have uh, 30 times, uh, you can get 30 times 110,000 plus uh, another, um, uh, plus the ranking, or not the ranking, the point rewards. So you do get maybe enough for two of those upgrades. Of course, you need to have the uh, Avalon Umber as well, but it is uh, in my eyes quite significant. So, and, and very easy to get. So that's what I focus on for the rest. Don't really bother with it. The legacy of virtue is another case. It's, I don't really what, remember what happened. Maybe I didn't play it actively last time because I still had some of those uh, night spirit from last uh, time. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's about the the recipe that you want to get. I find the the rewards actually none of the rewards like very interesting. Maybe uh, this one is quite interesting. The elementite, maybe the meteorite iron, but for the rest, this seems like a small amount. Meteorite iron also not that uh, bad, but I I'm not sure. What is actually um, in the ranking rewards in these season choice? Oh yeah, the, sorry, I, I am sure that those are the same chest that we can get uh, from the um, uh, from the season uh, map. So if you can get those, and I think even getting lower, you can still get some. Those are some yeah royal batches that you can get. So I would really love it to be able to get into the top 50 and preferably even higher like 11 to 20 I'm, I'm not sure whether that's going to be possible because we might have a lot of spenders but i'm going to try to do that and for that i focus on getting my the most points out of my um, night spirits because that is the most limiting factor i haven't been playing that actively so i should actually get way more of these because my favorite recipe is actually one three three favorite because this is normally uh, on average uh, the expected points is quite uh, yeah quite high and you don't have to spend too much of the the lower ones so this is what i normally am going for so let's try a couple of these We have a little bit of everything, but also quite some of the lower ones I see, unfortunately. And the fact that I don't get the highest one, I don't really mind that much. Not too happy with the points, actually. It seems uh, they are quite low this time around. And already finished from these. I have uh, yeah, quite a bit more of those, so that is nice. But I'm, yeah, rank 15, that is not, not that great, not that bad either, but I still have a, yeah, a long way to go if I really want to go to the top. But if I can stay top 15, that if I can say at location, uh, position 15, actually not so bad. 15 would give me uh, three of those uh, season choice chests. And that is uh, 18 royal batches. And that's 
yeah, just quite uh, quite nice. You can of course also choose other things, but I've uh, decided to just try to get royal batches whenever I uh, can. So I'm really going to do my best to stay in this uh, yeah 11 to 20 bracket and uh, hopefully get those uh, those royal batches. I'm actually now um, I have met my prerequisites, the wall and the barracks 43. So my focus is now just the royal batches to get to um, yeah resources I have enough even in my main I should have enough items to get all these uh, resources and otherwise I have a lot on my farms as well. But uh, so it's just a matter of getting those royal batches and that is not a small effort. But it is nice that everything else uh, and the other buildings have already been uh, upgraded. So the 1272 royal batches to go to get to my next uh, stronghold upgrade that I'm quite yeah quite excited about that and then of course it is uh, up to uh, yeah another 350 royal batches after that to get my um, barracks 244 to unlock my t13 infantry and after that um, another 700 to get my stables to 44 at this moment, uh, we mostly use um, for rallies. We actually don't use the bowmen. We use uh, with the new heroes, the cavalry and infantry. So those will be my first focus, and those are also already uh, done the most. The range is just at 41. Okay, well, that was it for this video. If you have any comments or any questions, if you did, did see some interesting changes in the new version, let me know. That is always much appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching this video.